Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. So today's video is all about natural hair products, just as the title of the video suggests. So initially I wanted to have this video into last week's styling video, but after thinking twice, I realized that I wanted to have it as a standalone video. Okay, so today I want to share with you guys one tip that I learned on how to avoid having flaky results when you're doing bantu knots or you're doing flat twist outs or braid outs, you know, anything that you want your hair out but you still want to avoid having flaky results then this is one tip that's going to save you a lot yeah so if you're interested then definitely keep on watching so i know for a fact that it's horrible it's really horrible if you have to take your time or even days to you know prepare for your flat twist outs or twist outs or braid outs or a bantu knot outs and you know have your hair to dry out for maybe 24 hours or 48 hours and then in the end have flaky results okay it's really horrible okay because we've taken a lot of time and a lot of energy yeah so last week on last week's video i did bantu knot outs at the back and i had two flat twists at the front okay and i'll put a link down in the description box or somewhere right here okay and if you're keen enough on that video, I feel like I went a little bit overboard <laughs> with the hair products. It took me 48 hours for my hair to dry out. And I know someone in the comment section also said that they were afraid that I was going to have flaky results because of how my hair looked like at that time. Yeah. So this is one tip that I learned and it has saved me a lot of energy. So the thing is this, if you use two products on your hair, but these two products do not intermarry for lack of a better word then you're going to have a lot of flakiness okay flakiness is just having white residue on your hair once you take out your bantu knot outs or braid outs or twist outs yeah so if you use two products whether an oil with a leave-in conditioner or an oil with a mousse or whatever okay so long as you add two products together and they don't intermarry then you're going to have um, a flaky result okay so this is what i have learned okay i'm going to have a b-roll and then explain it to you guys using the products that i used last week okay so keep on watching so today i have used my curl defining cream from vertica afro naturals and my ors styling hair gel okay so if i want to know if these two products won't give me any flaky result i'll take a little bit of the curl defining Place it on my hand like so. And then I'll take the gel that I was intending on using like so. Yeah, and then mix them together. It's really smooth and soft like lotion. Yeah, so this way I know that I won't have any flaky results if I combine these two products together. So it means that the curl defining cream and the gel go together. So right here I have my vertical leave-in conditioner and the ORS hair gel. Okay, so if I wanted to use this two, what I do is I take the leave-in conditioner. So this is the leave-in conditioner. So I take the leave-in conditioner and place it on my hand like so. And then I also take the hair gel which I intend on using. Place them on my hand like this. And then mix the two mixtures together. So you can see when I mix the two, the result is really lumpy. And you can tell that they can't have a smooth mixture in the end. So this way I know that the leave-in conditioner and the ORS gel will give me a flaky result. Yeah, so that's what I came to learn. So, okay, I can just put a side by side. So this is the curl defining cream and the hair gel. So let's mix them together. So on my left hand, this is the curl defining cream and the hair gel. And on my right, this is the water leave-in conditioner and the hair gel. 
So you can tell if I use this combination or mixture, I'll get a flaky result. But if I use my curl defining cream and my gel, then I won't get any flaky result. So this is how you know if a product will make you have a flaky hairstyle in the end or not. Yeah, so this is what I used today. So you guys will see later on when I undo my bantu knots, then you'll know that I don't have any flaky results. So let's just wait for my hair to dry up and then we'll see the end result.